when you open your bone in pork butt to remove the copa, you're going to locate your blade bone, turn to the side, you'll find where the round bone is, and just above that you'll find the fat seam. You're going to take that fat seam and just work your fingers in. As you see, you can just open that up a little bit and you'll find a seam that goes all the way down to your bone here. So you're going to take the tip of your knife and just follow that seam. And you're going to carefully work your fingers in there and just use the tip of your knife to open that up. As you can see, for the most part, your hands are what's going to guide you along that seam as you pull it and you're not cutting through any kind of muscle you can see I'm just following a seam there's no muscle being cut there and that'll open all the way up until you hit your blade bone here on the flat side of your blade bone you're just gonna use your knife to follow that bone right until it ends and you'll see you out here where that that bone ends once you get there, you're just going to come keep following that seam up on the other end, and you'll see how it just opens right up. It's like a dotted line there for you. Then you're going to come back here to your blade bone where you've cut past it and just cut straight down to the table with it. And then continually just find that seam here and cut all the way down to the table. Then you can use the rest of that for trim, for making sausage, whatever you want. Then you're going to take where you have your copa muscle, and you're going to have a flat end here, and you're just going to trim that off. A nice little piece for your sausage pile. And then you're going to square off your ends, Again, use the bit you're trimming off for your sausage pile. Both ends, you just want to square up, and just for a presentation, makes it look nicer. What you end up with, nice little copa muscle. Perfect for buckboard or cottage bacon. Cut it into small boneless steaks. Just a nice little piece of meat.